Hello Bashas, well today's the day we're going to be turning this into a brushless model. There she is, the old HPI Savage X 4.6 big block night row and we are going to be putting in this here. Obviously I've got a lot of other parts in that I'll need which I'm going to leave a link to in the description below. Um, I'll just show you a few of the parts that we will be installing. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on a step by step part. Probably going to take it over a few videos. Um, basically hopefully it will help somebody out massively. Uh, I'm basically never done it before so I'm just going to be learning as I go. I'll show you any mistakes I make, so hopefully you don't make them. Um, and the first part of the video today, we are going to be doing the basically stripping everything out that doesn't need be needed. Let's pop that off. That's the reinforced body that I've done on my new body shell there. With that, I used a sticks like shit and some plaster scrim tape does a cracking job cheaper than the glue gun shoe goo so there she is in all her glory the hpi savage 4.6 so let's get into taking out the parts that we don't need gonna remove the fuel tank first the tube out from the exhaust and then the tube off the, the cob that's the fuel tank removed I'm just going to put all the parts that are removed onto the table here so then you can get a checklist at the end of make sure you have removed all the parts that need removing and next thing we're going to remove is the exhaust which looks like it's a posy. Posy on that. Yeah, that was well in. There's my exhaust. The next part I'm going to remove is going to be the battery compartment. Just pull that off. We're going to need that back, so we'll keep a hold of that for the minute. Pop that out in there. That's the next part of the ASC. Connect to the one servo for steering. One servo for throttle and brake. So, just going to remove the servo wires. I think what I might actually do is change the receiver and possibly if put the Dumbo RC one in, just so it's got a bit better range and it's a bit more responsive. Take off lift that off. Disconnected from that. That just pulls out like so. I'm just going to leave that attached for a minute. Pull 
three kilo throttle servo being removed. removed. Now I'm going to take the top casing off as well just to make it a bit easier to get the, the centre out. Pull the two body pins out the back and out the bottom. That removes all that, and then the whole housing will come off. All good. Right, I think I'm going to remove this actual this whole side. See if that makes any easier for us. So basically, all I'm doing is removing the the metal chassis. Let's see, guys. I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way to strip it out, as long as we remember where things go. I'll put it back together. Guys, I think I'm gonna remove the wheels. I think it might be a bit easier. Basically guys, all I'm doing at the minute is I'm just taking every bolt out of the aluminium side chassis just to see what's holding what way and then anything that needs to go back I'm going to put back try and keep it as simple as possible and I don't want to fart about as much as you used to So that's the chassis off. There she is, the old Savage X. So that's the side one off. I'm just going to remove 
this here because I don't believe we'll need that anymore. And while I'm doing all this, I will be just cleaning until the wall. all the bits off. So I've got that. Now you didn't see it. If I remove these two screws. Now I believe once I take that out I have to take the motor off and I believe that bit's got to be put back on for to attach the motor mount. Now I could be wrong but we're going to have a look and see. That's it, looks like the whole thing's starting to move there now. Yeah, that looks good. So this hopefully should pull the drive shaft out from the front. Drive shaft out from the the rear, and that bit there is removed too. Right, so. I think, for now, that is everything removed that needs to be removed. So, I'm just going to get the camera and show you what I have removed, just so you can get a little bit of an idea. So that there, if you just want to pause that or whatever, that is all of the parts I've removed and that's what it looks like at the minute I may need to remove this yet at a later day but we're not going to go into that just yet I'm just basically this one's just the, the strip down uh, to see what parts need to be removed and actually that's a just notice that there that I don't know if that's meant to be like that, or if that's just had a, a nasty prang in the side. We shall sharp see. Right, so I'm just going to put this back on there. So, next part I'm going to do is I'm going to take the engine off. The engine mount. Which is... Looking like it's just an Allen bolt. There we go. Now looking at it, it looks like it's just four Allen bolts. One, two, tight that ones. God, I hate now you are so dirty to work with. Sound lovely though, just dirty. There we go, and I hope there will be the, the motor loose. And yeah, so that's your motor free. Yeah, put that on one side. Put it in a little box just in case. I'm going to put them both to one side just in case I need them. Don't know if I will. Right now, now this part I'm going to take this off from the plate because I believe I do need to strip that down to change it from a two speed to a one speed for to go onto the brushless motor. Um, I will be doing a detailed on how that one is done that'll probably be a video on its own because so it's two screws by the looks of it dead easy one and two and that 
that's it. That's yeah. I will leave in the description all of the part numbers that we're using for to do this. So the next video I reckon is going to be stripping this puppy down, taking off all the parts that we don't need, and installing the one speed spur which will hopefully give us forward and reverse because if you look at that now that's just one way and then the other way doesn't do anything i'm hoping when i just strip it all down put the next part in i will do away with the two speed and if i turn it that way it'll go one way and if i turn it the other way it will go reverse whereas at the minute it's basically a bigger slipper right so i shall see you on the next one guys